Well, this morning we're hearing from workers at Kimberly Clark after a meeting with Senator Tammy Baldwin about ways to save their jobs. As we've reported here on Action 2 News, the company announced plans last month to close the Nina Nonwovens and Cold Spring plants as part of its global restructuring plan. More than 600 workers would be out of a job, and they tell Jason Zimmerman they're frustrated. In a half hour meeting with Kimberly Clark workers at the United Steel Workers headquarters in Menasha, Senator Tammy Baldwin took a number of questions about why jobs are being lost. We just do not understand the decision to put Nina Cold Spring and Nina Nonwovens on the chopping block. It's a company that uh, is earning money and just don't understand the, the need to leave the valley. In addition to a state bill offering the company a 17% jobs tax credit, Senator Baldwin says Kimberly Clark is receiving a federal corporate tax break under President Trump. These are decisions in my mind that are being made for uh, jacking up the stock prices next quarter, not 100 years from now. It's heartbreaking. A lot of good people are going to supposedly lose their jobs. We've done everything that Kimberly Clark has asked us to do and more. We are a very profitable mill. Our products that we make are in demand. State legislators are expected to hold the first public hearing on this Kimberly Clark bill early next week.